Hello and welcome back to Wicked Tech Street. This week I'm going to show you how to install DNF Automatic Update. And what this will do is allow you to set up your CentOS and Red Hat 8 and above server to automatically update new packages and security updates. Um, specifically for this week I'm going to show you how to just have it update all the packages but you can also set it up to just do the security updates if that's what you choose to do so um, which is probably recommended for prod systems but in, in our case we're just doing this as a home enthusiast or for our own personal use so without further ado let's get started so the first thing you need to do is log in as the root user And then the other thing we need to do is install DNF Automatic. All right, so now that that's installed, we can go ahead and check the package to get a little more information about it. And then this kind of gives you the, some additional information about it if you care. Uh, so then the next thing we need to do is we need to make some changes to the automatic.com file for DNF, which is located in etc DNF, and then it's a file called automatic. All right, now that we're in the right file, the first thing we need to do is look at the upgrade type. Now currently it's set to default, which will update all available packages. So that's how we're gonna leave that. Um, if you wanted to do just security updates, then you would just change it to this line right here. You would, to the upgrade type, you would change it to security. Uh, since I don't, since I want all of our packages to be updated, I'm going to leave it at the default. And then we need to go down to, to the apply type. Now this is asking whether we want to have it just download the packages and not apply them, which is um, definitely an option. You can have it download them and then have have it notify you that the packages were downloaded and you can install them manually. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and set this to yes so that once they're downloaded, it will apply the package or it will install the packages. Also, we'll point out here, you can set this to either yes or no, but I would just leave it at yes so that it will automatically download the packages. And then down here, we want to set this to the host name. If you're not sure what your host name is, um, I can sh In my case, mine is Plex. As you can see here at the bottom where it says, next to the add symbol, it says Plex. If you don't know, you can also type host name and it will also give you the name of your server. So as you can see there, mine is plex 2local domain. So I'm going to change the meter type and I'm going to set it to my server name. Oh, whoops, I wasn't done yet. All right, so we've, now that we've set that to Plex 2, we need to go down to the Mitter via section. And what this area is for is you can have it notify you. There's other things you can do here. In my case, we're gonna set this to 
mod tab. Or MOTD. And what this will do is whenever you log in, it'll send a message to let you notify you of the updates that took place. You can also receive an email if you choose to do so, and you would just supply your, your email down here. Um, but I'm going to have it just send me a message or put a message when I log in. All right, so now we're just about done. We just have a couple more, a couple more steps. Now we need to go ahead and enable the service and start it. So to do that, we're going to type systemctl enable dash dash now and then dnf automatic timer. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And that will go ahead and enable it and make sure it's started. Now the next thing we want to do is we can check the status of the service. And to do that, you type systemctl. And that will give us the different timers that are running. And that's it for now. That should, uh, it will download the packages and it will automatically install them for you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.